Ooh, this is a setup right here. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Recognizing, I know. The little seven eight Shivana on round four. And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky dragons. We got Shadow Isles, Dragons. Uh, that's what we're going to be trying uh, playing today. We got Crawling, Viper Worm, Camivore, and Dragon. Uh, two fun dragons to play. They're going to be slaying your own units or, you know, dealing three to your own units. You know, hopefully we're going to be dealing three to like the Hapless Aristocrat, Dragon Chow, Egghead Researcher, these kind of things. Probably slaying them, getting some drain on with, with the Camivore and Dragon. Whenever our dragons do, or you know, just any ally with fury does kill something, it is going to be getting that additional plus one plus one from the ruined dragon guard. We'll have our ruined Shivana skin here, our only champion, Kadrigan the ruined. Also another cool dragon in here. To be honest, screeching dragon as a three of is is probably better than than Kadrigan the ruined. But I really wanted to play a Kadrigan. But while we're playing, we can think you know, should this be the third screeching dragon? And the answer is probably yes. Uh, but we also have the top end that's going to be exciting. We're going to have two Spectral Matron, two Cythria to have that combo as our top end. We'll also be able to make other top end dragons that can be really effective thanks to the Egghead Researcher. So maybe we can make like nine mana Kadrigrin. Um, seem to make that card a lot with Egghead Researcher. Or, you know, like Eclipse Dragon, Enviolus Vox, any of those would be really nice. Uh, but especially nine mana Kadrigrin would be another very good Spectral Matron target. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what we're going to have here. We're going to have uh, just nice mid-range dragon deck with uh, Shadow Isles for the Spooky Dragons. For removal, we're going to have a couple Concerted Strikes, uh, you know, to have our different dragons with Fury be able to strike, and some single combats. Go with single combat over, you know, because that's a, a nice cheap removal spell. Go with that over um, the Shivana spell Strafing Strike. Even though this heals your dragon too, I think that one, uh, you know, one less cost in mana is going to be worth it. And two vile feasts that are just just kind of do whatever, right? Like there's a lot of one health things to kill with vile feast. You get those spiderlings. Those spiderlings will give you those extra uh, units to slay with your um, shadow isles dragons. You know, just to get a couple of more things besides the hapless aristocrat. So, like, you know, that Spiderling can just kind of do some random stuff like that. Or it will also be, like, a good blocker and things to, uh, thing to glimpse beyond as well. All right, well, let's get to it. Let's play some Spooky Dragons. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Teemo, Kate Landon. So maybe a Vile Feast will be able to take down a Teemo. Man, I want to keep this combo in hand, but as y'all know, like, Teemo Caitlyn's pretty aggressive and everything. I, I don't think we can. We're going to keep the Dragon Chow, send the rest back. It's not really a matchup where we need the card draw. Okay, so we save spell mana. Because I kind of want to play this Dragon Guard. Hmm. Maybe we don't. Maybe we play Viper Worm. So I'm thinking... Okay, if we don't play anything on one or two, on three we can play Dragon Guard. On four we could go like Chow Chow Viper Worm. But now that we have this dragon, that's probably not even the best idea. Let's actually just go with this Chow. <laughs> Gotta keep him on there, Tez. Sharp sight test. I failed. Failed the sharp side test. No, I don't like these pranks. Smoke, ash, and dragon fire. Have a mushroom. Have three. No, I don't. I really don't want any. Really good quality hand for them. Teemo on one, Peddler on three, with two spells. Really good quality hand for them. And 
And then one of the spells also gave me three puff caps. I got a couple of dra uh, drains in there. So we get an 8 7 fearsome. The fearsome's important. That whenever it slays a unit, on the trail. it's getting uh, getting that drain in. That drains it. That drain is also important. All right, so open attack but also going to Try to kill Teemo, because, you know, we get the, the plus two with that. To make it ten power. And also drain another two. So if they take it all, they're going to take an eleven. Alright, drain. Drain. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to win this game, but that was pretty sweet. So I'm definitely doing this to get the 1-1 for my Viper Worm, but it's like... Is it even worth killing that? I mean, I guess. Because the Viper Worm turns into 5 power. And I guess so, because like that 1-1 one, one could have blocked this Viper Worm, and now it's not there to block the Viper Worm, so that's good. Ooh. Challenger. We can give like the Viper Worm Challenger. Or the, the Camel Horn Dragon, either one, but probably the Viper Worm. I don't think I was ever playing that card anyway. Mm, they finally killed my dragon guard. So many puff caps. But we're not doing too bad. Yeah, they don't get to attack. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That's right on that one. Because right, because I was going to... Alright, so I guess we'll just challenge this. No, it should still be Peddler, right? Yeah, it's Peddler. I guess I could Prismatic Barrier it. Let's see what they do with the blocking. My barrier it turns into a 6-4. Might as well have a 6-4 Fury Challenger. Seems worth it. <laughs> Our dragons are dancing. The sea tells me the Whoa, seven? On the one card? I know, Harvey. What was that? That was our seven. With a little time, I'll have a breakthrough. I aim to win, and my aim is excellent. Well, what have we here? Ten mana next round.
Because I only have barely over one puff cap per card. So we shouldn't get that many. Shouldn't get seven on one card. So I want the, the Camel Horn Dragon to kill it so we get that drain one. Let's get that drain one. All right, Spectral Matron Cythria, big dragons. That was a good game. All right, man, that was a pretty awesome Camivore and Dragon. I have never seen Camivore and Dragon do that kind of stuff. They had a really good hand, and the Camivore and Dragon just dominated. That was very impressive. Same matchup. Let's try it again. Okay, gotta find cheaper stuff. I liked that Ruined Dragon Guard a whole lot. I really would not mind seeing another one of those. A round three Ruined Dragon Guard, that'd be good. A double Camivore and Dragon. We're going to need one of our one drops to help out that Camivore and Dragon. They always got their one drops. No one drops for me. Hopefully no peddler. Okay, no peddler, that's good. Let's investigate. Not ideal. Man, they did have peddler. They just had everything. They've just had everything. Both champions and peddler, they're three most important cards. I really want to single combat right now before they start pranking. Yeah, we kind of have to. It's not great against like Mystic Shot, of course. And obviously they're going to just have Mystic Shot. They just have everything. They just had everything. Game of Warden Dragon still still trying to keep us in it. Glad that thing doesn't get to attack and create more poison darts. Best possible card to hit. The sharp sight. that now, you know, now that they've already hit the sharp sight. Cool. 
That's a card I'm never playing anyway. Like, you know, we, we can't play Glimpse Beyond. Like, that's a that's a bad prank. We can't play it. This world is finished. That's why you always carry another pair of goggles. Why would you not block with a 1 1? I guess they want to go wide. So, of course, we're going to have Concert, concert Strike kill Caitlyn. Closing in on the mark. No backup needed. No fear of someone any of these. Can we draw Scythria? And also draw no puff caps? Well, what have we here? I got ways to find me mushrooms. Yeah, there's no reason that they should have pranked this glimpse beyond. Zero. Zero. Four, three. All right, perfect hand opponent. GG's. Yeah. The the seven puff caps was the first game. That wasn't that game. All right, we got another aggro deck. Ooh, we actually have Shivana for the first time. Okay, so we're gonna send back the six mana Kadra Grin, but I like this one three four curve. Perfect. One, two, three, four. The Healy's? Where are you? Bounty Ball knows me now. Coming in hot! I'm something of an aspire. We're going to be doing some blocking. Technically, these two tr cards trade for their two. Like, Egghead Researcher trades with Jagged Butcher over two rounds, and Hapless Earth Scrat trades with Legion Grenadier over two rounds. They don't have misfortune, that is. Who's gonna get in my way? Please, I have connections. <laughs> the good thing about not killing Legion Grenadier right there is they didn't get the tracks. Um, one damage for Gangplank, but of course they could block here and then get that damage for Gangplank. Want to attack? Okay. Oh, they do have misfortune. Keep up, keep up. Maybe better play White Flame Protector this round. No, because I'm gonna to want to play Screeching Dragon next round. Okay. Because I can't, I can't throw Shivana in front of Misfortune. The dies. Does that do a 5-3? Back later. Yeah. Yeah. There is nothing like that pain. Fuse is lit. They are nothing. No reinforcement. Try me. Hmm. 
Alright, Rune Drag Dragon Guard, you did pretty good. I assume that that Fervor was the card that they grabbed with Spray Thin. Or no, no, that was a Mega Rain. That wasn't a Fervor. Sorry, I was kind of just expecting Fervor, so I just kind of said Fervor. Um, but it was not a Fervor. Let's go with another Dragon. Yeah. And one Sharp Sight. If I had the mana for Concerted Strike plus Sharp Sight, I would do that, but do not. Alright, I get that I mean, not risk Shivana getting killed by another Mega Rain. Ooh. I love Fervor's not hitting my Nexus. Love that. Now we get to just open attack. And get the plus two plus two immediately before anything else happens. Death doesn't scare me. That is just not a good play. <laughs> like at all. I mean you, you saw I just created this strafing strike. I guess I should probably be vile feasting the Legion Grenadier as well, but <clears throat> yeah. All right, so we are two and one with our dragons. dragons have no remorse. Yeah, they should just block this puppy. It's Poppy. They play small units that attack. We play Big Dragon. Hopefully Big Dragon wins. Gonna struggle keeping them from going wide. But gotta like Shivana with double Dragon Chow. And then even a Prismatic Barrier to help protect Shivana. So gotta like this setup. But they could still be really aggressive and, and go wide. And we could still lose the game. This isn't, but I like the setup. This is just like we did game one, but then game one we played the Camavoran Dragon. This time we're playing the Shivana, right? So then it will do... How's this going to work? Is it going to strike for three and then get two counters and then strike for five and then get two, two counters? The little 7 8 Shivana on round 4. <laughs> I love that trick, just on an emote. That's a good one. Alright, that's gonna be a leveled up Shivana. Unless they're pokey sticking their own thing. Yeah, okay. That's fine with me. The Shivana is going to level up very soon, so that's that's fine with me. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Everything I tell you. Do they still mourn? Do they even remember? You best believe I don't play. How 
good and loud. Not gonna let them play those things for zero mana. So this is gonna be seven. I played this. I don't get the free strafing strikes. Maybe maybe I just spend the mana on the strafing strike. So just open attack. Free strafing strikes are nice. No. Go away. No. Well, that goes like basically my whole plan. That's an egg. All right, Kim Born Dragon, you are my new plan. Many more ruining fun since always. Fearsome. I should make a speech. Yes. Where's my speech? Pops in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. Agonizing. I know. <laughs> I think I'm going to play Egghead Researcher and Crawling Viper Worm. Yeah. The more we learn, the less we fear. Cool. Because giving this thing Challenger isn't that great. I kind of want to give the Viper Worm Challenger. There is nothing like that pain. Let's cook em. Man, these dragons are cool. <laughs> we're we're on plan C right now. Plan C for Kim of Oren. Oh, I don't have the space. That's going to do 3 damage to one of those. Cuz then they they're obviously going to like kill it with a pokey stick. So I could Use barrier, but yeah. I guess I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't have them have infinite blockers. But this is like just kind of hurting their fearsome stuff, right? Because they they need they need to continually have fearsome things for this Kim of Orin Dragon. I guess they already they're gonna have enough other blockers. Let's let's get rid of the fearsome stuff. Is Ruination an epic? Can you tell can you loping telescope into Ruination? I mean, what I'm scared of in this game is the Bandle Tree, right? Like they just played the Bandle Tree and I can't interact with the Bandle Tree. Just kill me. But this I'm so I'm trying to get rid of like their fearsome blockers. You know, maybe next round we you know, we end with infinite mind splitter, they they don't expect get rid of other fearsome blockers, then open attack and kill them. Right, with this sixteen ten. Kim of and Dragon. That's my plan. We made it. Come on, Yay. the matron. No! Get rid of the matron! Oh, aloof travelers. So they played three aloof travelers. They've gotten rid of. Yeah, why didn't they do that before damage? Before I got an extra plus one plus one counter on this. They've gotten rid of a Shivana and a Screeching Dragon, and then the Infinite Mind Splitter. Boo. Alright, good draw with the removal spell. That can take down a three power thing. A fearsome thing. So, praying for no mini morph. Certainly praying for no Minimorph. Like 
Man, I would have much rather played Infinite Mind Splitter this round. Cool. Serving lead. <sighs> oh. What a specimen. Opponent is so rude. I need something to die so I have some room here. So I definitely want to Matron Cythria and then play Cythria, right? Like, I want to do that. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. Danger. Finally. Okay, so do I want to play this Sharp Slate first to buff anything up plus two plus two before the Cythria? Because right now Cythria is only going to make these things two health, so we can make them what, six health. It's not a bad plan. Yeah, it's not a bad plan. It's just a huge difference between two health and six health. The only thing with Fearsome is the Spectral Matron. On it and on him. Well, but they all have Challenger, so we'll be able to take down all the other Fearsome blockers, so they need... Mini morph again. They never did have the Bandle Tree. Because now this Matron's 24 Fearsome. We can challenge whatever else. So they have to Mini Morph that. Oh, Poppy's Champion spell. That's a good card. Well, I suppose that's how that works. 4428. Still challenge over there. <laughs> Forty-four, sixteen. Let's see one to that. I'll take this one. Fortunately, none of these have fearsome. We needed that spectral matron with the fearsome. Oh, I guess I should have. I should have had this challenge with the poppy to have it die. Shouldn't die. Yeah, I should have had this die. Hang on. <laughs> We're rolling. You think they just hit Ruination with Loping Telescope? I'd still have Spectral Matron Cythria. You dropped something. No. I got rid of my second Cythria. So we're going to have 11 power of Fearsome. Yeah, so yeah, they hit an aloof from the mayor earlier, because that's their fourth aloof. Travelers.
We have the back-to-back 45-15 -back and 45-25s. Down to three. I think we can block that thing. Is that what loping telescope made? I wonder how many owl cats they've played this game. We made it. You have got to be kidding me! These aloof travelers. That's their fifth one. I guess two, both mayors made aloof travelers earlier. So they got rid of a Shivana, a Screeching Dragon, two of those infinite mind splitters. All right, finally, Fearsome. Get them. Yeah, they never had the Bandle Tree. And we finally won. Our, the dragons got through. Back to the sky, Knights of Demacia. Man, that was a crazy game. Now, Darkness Control. I don't have a lot of card advantage in this deck. But there is a lot of size. Okay, I need to keep single combat to kill their champions. Their champions are gonna have to go. I like the Egghead Researchers. They give me a body plus some sweet dragons. Uh, Cyclonus, have you ever had a day where you won 5-0 with all of your decks? I've gone 19-1 before losing the very last game <laughs> to go 20-0 with four decks. Um, my best streak was... Dragons, I just may have an answer. Um, 33 and 2 in seven straight, all in ranked uh, sometime last year. Follow the tracks. Uh, yeah, they're probably the playing a blocker, but it's one damage. Dragons so in seven, that was across like three days. I think they had the 19 and 1, and then, um, you know, a couple of videos before and after. I should have played. Okay, so the hapless aristocrat was incorrect to play because now I don't have single combat to go along with Siobhan. I that was, yeah, I need that single combat right there. That was incorrect to play that. So, what can you can go to four power? So I, I have to play you. No, I don't. Didn't get to play Shivana, which I guess Shivana wasn't going to kill the Vagar anyway. But the Camelborn Dragon could have, and Camelborn Dragon's better to have these things then. We have four, five, five, three. Oh, my dear. Nice things that Fury gets this up to the, the three, so it doesn't die to the darkness. I just, I just now realized we had two. Perfect. Now that levels up Shivana. So even if they kill this Shivana, our next one's gonna be leveled up. I just realized that we had two Imperions. <laughs> Bring me your darkness, my Zeph, comrade.
So what to, what to play? Dragon Shivana or the Empyrean? <laughs> So now there, Darknesses are dealing three. Shivana attacks for six. Empyreon attacks for six. Shivana creates Strafing Strike. Like, if they're going to have a Vengeance, I think I'd rather the Vengeance, the Empyreon, than Vengeance, the Shivana, right? So I guess we go with the Empyreon. This is one of the record books. One goes down. Thousands to go. Moving in. Don't have any warning shots. It's a lot of damage. Make the hurt your weapon. All right, down to three. Keep your distance. Alright, I guess now I play the Dragon Shivana. Because if I play Empyreon, then we don't get to keep Sharp Sight available. So I guess now I play Dragon Shivana. Open attack is not lethal, but playing an Empyreon could be walking right into Ruination. I guess open attack is lethal, they have nothing, but obviously they're going to have stuff. Yeah, it's true, Ruination will be fast. They could still Ruination right now, but no. but you know, like I would, I would want to have stuff for after Ruination kind of thing. Alright, so let's send us champion spell. Bit of vengeance. Just don't know if this is putting too too many good resources in play. Probably not. I think that, I think that's okay. Ugh! Oh. Getting really punished. Yeah, if I would have gone with the Dragon Guard, then I could play both Dragon Chow and Empyreon and, and grow that Empyreon to be 7 power with them at 7. That... Sounds like a good thing to do. Bring down the skies. We'll just have to settle for this. All right, and that will be a win. So we'll just have to settle for that win. A nice 4-1 in ranked with the dragons. Dragon fire. Spooky dragons. So yeah, just the size of these dragons was was really effective. Lots and lots of small damage spells. We saw tons of like poison darts do, doing one damage. <clears throat> and then other like pokey sticks doing two. Tristana's spell that does three. Those darknesses did two and then three. But then that was kind of it, right? Like everybody was playing small damage things because a lot of people are playing small units and everything like that and they're just the cheaper spells and so having these dragons that got really large really fast thanks to fury uh was just just outclassed and uh outclassed all the removal spells and everything i was really impressed with this ruined dragon guard i haven't been that impressed with this card in the past but this this time in these games i was really impressed that it did a lot of good stuff so i think <clears throat> maybe i should go back to three of ruined dragon guard but I don't know what to take out. I really liked everything. Like, the single combats were awesome. Um, maybe take out a Vile... Maybe we take out a Vile Feast. But it, it was... Like, the Vile Feast was good. We had 26 and 14 spells to units. I really liked the Hapless Aristocrat. Because, like, on round 5, we got to play Hapless... Like, play Hapless Aristocrat, then play Dragon. 
so yeah, I don't know exactly what to take out, but I, I, I could see playing the third copy of the drag, the Ruined Dragon Guard. Camavoran Dragon. Talk about a card that really looked good, that really performed well. Camavoran Dragon. Wow. Yeah, the, the drain was really important against like the Puff Cap decks. And it got super big, super fast. But then it had the Fearsome also, right? Like that Fearsome keyword also was very important. So really good looking deck there with Spooky Dragons. Only using Shivana as the only champion and it still worked out, worked out well. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments and let me know what you think of Spooky Dragons. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck. Um, yeah, let me know over there in the comment section. But that's going to be it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.